cloud which is scalable and flexible IT functionalities which deliver as a service to external customers by using internet technologies. Cloud applications extend their accessibility through the internet by using large data centers and powerful servers that host the web application and services. Anyone with a suitable internet connection and standard internet browser can access the cloud applications. There are five key attributes to distinguish cloud computing from its conventional counterpart, which is service-based, scalable and elastic, share and meter with meter by music, users internet technology. Next. So what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is combination with three different layers, which is named infrastructure, platform, and software. Infrastructure <coughs> provide users with physical or virtual resources that satisfy the requirement of the user application in the terms of CPU, memory, and storage. And such quality of service established through a service, service le level agreement between a customer and service provider. The end user has full control over the virtualized computer. Infrastructure charge on a utility basis depending on the consumption of the resources. Platform. Platform delivers cloud-based development tools in addition to service. Platform provides all the facilities required, the, required to support the complete life cycle of building and deploying web application. Platform also develops new application or service in the cloud that do not depend on the specific to specific platform to run and can make them widely available to users through the internet. Next, the software. Software delivers its software uh, software delivers itself as a service to be used by customer on demand. Software service provider maintains its data server and related hardware. It is accredited as a one-to-many or multi-client delivery model whereby an application providing opportunities to customize the system, the needs of each customer. And this is how successfully the, the cloud computing adopted, which is three successful keys, which is make an effective business case, take advantage
staff of the Mr. Chiu College, uh, I would like to present the target, the uh, budget, capital budget things for this investment plan. As we know, this now, uh, Elaine has introduced the effectiveness, the advantage, the potential advantage uh, about the cloud computing and the types of cloud computing. So now, as you want to make an investment plan, so we have to create uh, a details uh, financial statement or budgets in order to, to make the comprehensive considerations about our decisions. So uh, from the side, you can see that there are two main components inside the budget, which is the relevant benefits and relevant costs. So I would like to uh, uh, introduce, I would like to talk uh, the, <laughs> sorry, I would like to talk about uh, the definitions of what the category retains and we do inside the relevant cost and the relevant benefits. So assume that if the college in our college have the ability to earn the money by using the existing capi uh, capitals with the 10% of returns annually, which is if you invest for one ringgit, you get one ringgit. And cents, ten percent. So I would like to put this uh, activity as a bottom line or basic requirement. I would put like uh, I would put as a discount rate. So I put ten percent as a discount rate. So we have to reach the targets in order to uh, make the profits. So first is the relevant benefits. It's about the reduced cost of capital. What is reduced cost of capital in uh, this category? Uh, because our college we use about the hardware, software, and the uh, server to store and produce uh, the students' information and data. So it can be seen that in the future our college will be expand, will be increase the number of students from year to year. So as we invest on the cloud computing and change to the cloud computing we can effectively reduce the cost of capital because uh, server room, as you know, server room occupied the capacities of the college. So once we change to the cloud computing, it does not need the specific occupations that uh, occupy the room. So we, maybe we can exchange the server room to the classroom so we can increase the effectiveness and the revenues of the college indirectly. Next is the security. <laughs> uh, as we know, data information is the most important in the college, including the data of the students, data of the lecturers, and all the information. So we must have certain uh, securities, such as uh, external or internal software, oops, the fire, like white firewall, or the CCTV, External or internal. So as our our if we implement the cloud computing, we don't need to uh, worry about the security because uh, our data will be safe in the cloud computing. The cloud computing. Next is, uh, is about the electricity. So electricity is a one of the main point for the college, uh, college the operational expenditure. So what uh, I want to say is electricity we can through the cloud computing can cut down the cost uh, of electricity because uh, as you know uh, for the server room we have to prepare the fans, aircons and open it up as the server runs 24 hours, 7 a week so the aircons also need use at the same time. So electricity will be uh, reduced or will be decreased from year to year. Next is the efficiency. What is efficiency? I would like to say that uh, in, the, in the service industry, we can't see the service because service is impossible. So I, I'm not to use the productivity, I use as the efficiency, what efficiency. So if we change to the cloud computing, the times of the lecturers, times of the IT workers will be increased. So they can use the time to serve more people, students. So their efficiency is increased. 
disciplines and they can focus on their works, on their main job. So this is uh, what I call as the efficiency. So actually the four points that I state will be increased the cost. Actually if we use as a traditional way, which is our server room to store our data, our information. So by year by year, because uh, once our collection has been expanded, the, the need, the cost will be increased. So by using cloud computing, it might be increased, but not as much as, uh, as, the, as the budget that we stated. Uh, the last is reduced in maintenance. Sure. Next is the relevant cost. Relevant cost first, most importantly, server rental. We have to pay the server rental to the cloud computing company. Maybe it will be increased year by year because of data, the usage of data, the space we create. Next is the equipment. This is our uh, one time times are paid. Maybe uh, buy some equipment. We have uh, uh, pick up for some money to, in order to uh, for them to buy some equipment by using the cloud computing. In using the cloud computing, uh, the three, the third and fourth, which is the training and recruitment of IT workers, are quite relevant related because we plan to recruit the IT worker and give them the training about the uh, knowledge about the cloud computing, how to function. How to work in. So, if the requirements of our IT worker has been uh, implemented and the training has been implemented, so in the indirectly the efficiency of the college, the efficiency in the relevant benefits, uh, relevant benefits also will be increased. So, we plan the training periods for the requirements for the IT workers is three years. Uh, actually, our, our plan is five years term. So we plan to have only three years training of training in the first, which is our first three years, first, second, and third years for the IT workers and existing IT workers. And the overall cost uh, and the cash flow, which is minus, uh, benefits minus the cost, will be, and you can see that this is uh, still positive. So initial capital, let's say, is 100,000, 100K. So we also calculate the taxation as well. Um, I assume that the taxation is about the 20% for, for, for the national law. The revenue, which is not uh, more than 500,000, will be 20%. So I will put this 20% as well. So next, after the taxation, the profit after tax still is a positive. So next is the most important thing, meet the requirement. Meet the requirement is a discovery. So because the college have given the capital to us 100,000, right? So if maybe they use in another way, maybe they can earn some money, 10%, as I said, 10% annually. So we have to meet the 10%, at least the 10% of profits annually. So after we cut down the discount rate, uh, which is the profit uh, after discount rate, we still get the positive numbers, positive profits, but it doesn't mean, uh, mean something. So we have four analysis as a backup, which is uh, backup, which is MPV, net random value, uh, IRR, internal rates of returns, payback periods, and profitability index. <coughs> so through these four calculations, we can uh, make the comprehensive considerations. Is that the plan can be implemented or not? But it is a uh, complicated investment plan. So our MPV will be 59,000, uh, around 60,000 in the end of this five-year investment plan and uh, inter, uh, internal rates of returns will be 28.3% which is uh, more than negative and payback period is only 3.39 years and the profitability index is 1.6 so uh, the 
the main idea, the reason that I want to show the four analysis is because we cannot judge them by using only one uh, analysis, such as if we use the profitability index, we just show the, uh, show the number 1.6, maybe you invest 1,000, uh, and in the next year you get 1,600. It also is 1.6. So we have to see all, such as NPV, what is the 60%? 1.6 is what? Maybe it is 60,000. So this is uh, the, the reason that I want to put the uh, analysis. So besides the scenario one, we also create two scenarios for the choice, for the backup plan. Next. So in the scenario two, we change, we plan to uh, acquire, charge the IT fees from the students. And approximately our student, our college number of students is around 1,000. So we plan to charge the 30 rigids per annual for the for those existing uh, students. So it will be the 30,000. You can see that on the second category. So what we use, the IT fees that we collect, uh, co collect we will put it into the requirements of uh, IT consultant. We will uh, recruit the IT expert for our this investment plan. And also the equipment, we will buy more advanced equipment in order for them to use for some building. So if we uh, can we include the uh, recruit the IT consultant, sure def uh, definitely our efficiency, our benefits will be because uh, they are professional. So we no need to worry about the training. We can set the cost of training. Uh, so the overall uh, NPV of this scenario 2 is uh, 75,000 net revenue of these five years. Then, then the IRR rate is 32. 3.19 years and the last one, profitability index is 1.76 which means one ringgit if you invest you get one ringgit and 76 cents next scenario 3 in the scenario 3 we plan to not include uh, recruit the IT workers either IT workers or IT consultants we plan to have the trainings on the existing worker which is IT worker Five persons, according to the uh, they call the IT workers, uh, assisting five IT workers will be trained, and we will put the money for the training uh, for the workers, IT workers, and the bonus, and increase the uh, increase the increments of the IT worker. So in this scenario, the profitability, the overall uh, performance will be bad, a bit bad because uh, the net. Present value is only 0.7k, 5,700, and the IRR is just only 11, uh, 12 percent, and the payment period that we want to use is around 7 or uh, 4.78 years, and the profitability index is just 1.06. Uh, this is our investment plan. I will pass to the result for the conclusion. Here, the two reasons for the result are cost of the result, the overall cost of the hardware, the distribution, and the development, and the European biological resource and the electronic output.